Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I'm one of the librarians at Spokane Community College. In this brief video, I'm going to be demonstrating the use of chat PDF, which was one of the first popular PDF analysis tools that uses Gen AI to look at and describe PDFs for the user. So here I am on the main chat PDF screen at chatpdf.com. And it does require you to log in in order to use it. And it does have a two PDF upload per day limitation for free accounts. Um, the main screen here has a very large box for dropping a PDF and then a lot of promotional videos and information about chat PDF available for you to look at before you dive in. Let's go ahead and add a PDF on wildfires that I found through a database and see what happens here. So as soon as I load the PDF into the drop, drag and drop box, I'm going to get taken to a new screen that shows the PDF on the left-hand side and a Gen AI chat box on the right hand side. The far left panel will provide the ability to start a new chat with a new PDF, upgrade to the paid version called Plus, create a new folder, which essentially is a way to organize the PDF slash chats, and then some additional links at the bottom of the sidebar. The fun feature of chat PDF is that you have the ability to read the PDF itself in its original form on the left hand side you can scroll through the entire PDF you can zoom in and out uh, you can search the PDF um, if it has uh, searchable text and then um, it also provides access to what they call the uh, math or graph tool that allows GPT-4 technology, uh, specifically what they call vision, to look at particular parts of the document. I will say that with some testing, I've learned that chat PDF does not do a very good job at looking at visual information, specifically colors and uh, color, colored text is particularly difficult for chat PDF to analyze. So keep that in mind. However, when it looks at text, uh, it's similar to adding text files or documents to other Gen AI tools like chat GPT. It does a pretty good job. So a little bit more on that. On the right-hand side, we've got the chat box. And as soon as you upload the document, you will get some information about the document that automatically populates the chat. So it's describing the authors, it's describing the summary of the document, and it's also uh, providing some questions that you might ask about this file. And the cool thing is that it's providing prompt ideas that you can actually semi-automatically ask it by just clicking on the arrows based on what it already has pulled out from the document. So it's already essentially read and provided some analysis of the document, even without any chat um, prompts entered by the user, which I guess could be good or bad. But... Um, let us uh, ask a, something specific here. Um, I will say, scroll down to a particular section past the introduction. I may be scrolling too far here. Um, let's see. Um, let's try this, 5.22 Europe. What are some particular ideas of interest in section 5.2.2 Europe. And in doing so, it then pulls out this information. Uh, 
In this section, the key ideas of interest are highlighted regarding lightning-induced wildfires, and it talks about geographical variability, lightning strike patterns, and so on. And then it also provides um, particular uh, links, internal links, to the pages that it's referencing. When you're using this, you can highlight any text and ask it to further explain, summarize, or rewrite the text, which could be helpful for folks that are paraphrasing or utilizing the ideas as they're doing their research. As with any Gen AI tool, just looking at this information that's provided in response to one's prompt requires in my opinion, some double checking, making sure none of this stands out as being completely incorrect or partially incorrect. In any case, that's an overview of chat PDF. It really is a remarkable type of tool um, that it has influenced a lot of additional tools and functionality emerging through other Gen AI platforms, including chat, PD, chat GPT. If you have any questions or comments about chat PDF, feel free to reach out to Spokane Community College librarians. Thanks for watching and have a great day.